conflict between Israel and Palestine. It goes back decades, and it's clear people on both sides are hurting right now, with activists facing off at a pro-Palestine rally at the University of Washington. Now, the school was already mourning the death of former international relations grad student Chaim Kotzman, who was working on peaceful resolutions to the Palestinian conflict when he was killed in the attacks there. Still, the friction was evident during this demonstration. It's just hard to see, especially because they've been fighting for 75 years and there's no end to it. And and I think they were just tired of fighting, you know? I have family that's gone. Like, it's okay to to want change, to want peaceful change, to want um, development, progress, but it can't come as a result of, of rapes, of people being beheaded, of, like, kids dying. It, it can't be as a result of that. UW's president says she condemns the Hamas attacks and any messaging that supports violence against civilians. She says the university is focusing its energies on people from all sides of this conflict who are hurting right now. Meantime, Seattle police say they're placing extra patrols near places of worship like synagogues and mosques. Several major U.S. cities are also increasing security today. This comes after a former Hamas leader called on people to protest in support of Palestinians during a, quote, global day of jihad. We will continue to monitor this situation. For now, though, we'll send it back to you. All right, John, thank you.